Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at incorporating a weather forecast into Home Assistant. Okay, so first off, uh, why would you want a weather forecast as part of your Home Assistant setup? Well, you can run automations based on the weather. Uh, so for example, if it was currently raining or currently forecast to rain and you were uh, left your home network you could get a notification saying remember your umbrella as an example uh, but as always with automation automations the possibilities are kind of endless uh, weather forecasts also look really nice as part of a, um, a dashboard that we'll look at making uh, later on some kind of uh, user interface uh, that we're probably going to use a tablet for um, it'll just give you all of the information about the house and access to all of your uh, smart tech. So the first thing we want to do is we can head over to the Home Assistant website and have a look for a dark sky. Uh, there is other weather services available but Dark Sky seems to be the most popular and, and works quite well. There's all sorts of information about Dark Sky here on, uh, on the uh, component page on the Home Assistant website. Uh, but if you just follow along with this video, you'll have it up and running. But if you want more information, this is the place to go. One thing that you will have to do is get an API key from Dark Sky. That's really easy. You just head over to their website and you uh, uh, click on Dark Sky API and you try it for free okay now I've already got an API key and this is what you're looking for here once you log in it sends you like an email you have to authenticate your email and so on now I'm gonna reset this uh, API key after this video um, because I don't want everyone sharing it because you only get um, up to a thousand free calls per day so if everyone starts using the same API key then this will no longer be free so once we've got our API key from Dark Sky, we can head over and open up our configuration.yaml file. I'm going to edit it with Notepad++. And then in here, we're going to add the following. So it's weather. And then we're going to press tab to come in a little bit. And the platform is going to be dark sky. All one word, all lowercase. And next we're going to go API key. And then we're going to copy and paste that API key that we have from dark sky. And that is it for the configuration.yaml file. So we're going to go ahead and save this. Head back over to Home Assistant and validate our configuration as always. So there we go. Configuration is valid. And then we're going to give Home Assistant a restart. So we're going to pause the video here because this does take a little while and we'll come back once it's restarted. Okay, now we have Home Assistant restarted. We're going to head to Overview, and we can see that nothing has changed here yet. Uh, we need to add in a card for our weather. So we're going to click on the three dots and configure UI, and the three dots again, and uh, raw config editor. And now in here is the raw editor for everything that you see on your home screen. So we're just going to come in here and we're going to add entities. Uh, sorry, entity. Uh, and our entity is dark sky. And then, sorry, it's not at all. Our entity is 
weather dot dark underscore sky. So that's the name that Home Assistant has given to our weather forecast entity. And then here we're going to go type. weather forecast forecast okay then we're going to go ahead and click on save okay and once we have saved our configuration we can go ahead and exit out of this and exit again to take us back to the home screen and we can see now that we have our dark sky weather forecast integrated into our home assistant uh, page here and we can click on it and get some more information uh, so that's it for this video uh, a very easy task to integrate a weather forecast into home assistant but will give us some more functionality further down the line if you have found this video helpful at all, please do go ahead and subscribe. Subscriptions are very helpful for the channel and will allow me to keep making videos. I do have quite a, a library of Home Assistant videos on the go now, so go ahead and check out that playlist on my channel. Um, please also comment and like, and thank you for watching.